bedroom apparently. <laughs> Look at this. What is that? All the posters on the wall. All the shirts. Life is here. of a collection of shirts. My first ever kit is here somewhere. Where's he gone? We saw it earlier. This one here was my first ever shirt. Hold it up, Nicola. That one there. 1994, I'm pretty certain. I was like, yeah, there you go, 93, 94. That would have been for my eighth birthday. It's not, look at the price of that. 299 quid. I won this more than anything, though. Get it me. Get it me. We've got money. <laughs> Someone get it me. A round of applause for this because it looks amazing. Look at that. <laughs> It's a bad bedroom at the time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> on this TV, we've got that goal playing on repeat. How many times have you watched this back? I think this is the first time. I've actually seen it. <laughs> yeah, even as a neutral, I think it's like definitely stands out as one of the best away shirts. And it's nice that it's now been modernised to come forward for the new generation to see and understand the, the link back to the history. I think it's really important. You know, I joke, I scored one goal 25 years ago and I'm still living off the back of it now. And, and this is keeping me in a job for another year, so it's better. Fans are the fabric of the club, you know, owners will go, players will go, managers will go, coaches will go. The one thing that stays at every football club is the fans and, you know, I'm, I'm so fortunate to, to, to work in the club in um, an ambassadorial capacity, travelling around the world, you know, in this, the States last week and the support they had out there was phenomenal. You got a good bag. Look at that, you got a free hat. Wonderful. So Nicola is already thinking about Ruben here. <laughs> <laughs> that could be Ruben's. We feel like as parents now we never get out. Like we're sort of cheating the system a little bit. I'm not good. Bro, she had a coffee. <laughs> coffee at I had the a coffee at 7pm and I'm still shattered. It's but it's only what time is it? Uh, it's, what is it, 8 o'clock? <laughs> Mr. Kieran Carr. Hello. Up in sunny Manchester. Yes. For a special VIP event. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's actually going to be raining tomorrow, so not quite sunny. But um, it was sunny here until today. It was, it was, it was overcast, which I guess is technically sun up here. I hear you sharing a room with Alex as well. I am indeed. I didn't want anybody assisted. Um, only one bed. Who's going top? Who's going tail? Uh, no, I'm going to curl up in like a dog. <laughs> Well, I would rather. So you're like his little kind of warm blanket, basically. Yeah, I'll keep his his weird feet. Or... What do you think of the kit? Uh, the kit is. I thought, I'm actually buzzing. They actually, they actually just remade. Just a good kit. It's a Ra good kit. Rather than trying, like Nike did a spin a while ago with the fin pin straps. But sometimes you just you just want the kit again. You do. And then we just got the They've kit. We've really just done it again. We were the and guy was chatting about. It. He was like, yeah, the city kept going. Just make it again. Yeah. Just, I, I it more interesting that City were the ones who were like, just do it again. Guys, rather guys. Rather than... Trust these guys. And they did. Like I They did the thing. And here we populate internet celebrity and... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say! <laughs> anyway, this is Mr. True Heaster. Oh, we're doing real news today. We came with it. Look, we've got, oh no, you're not in this. I thought we took this together. Oh no, but there's uh, Adam Monk and there's 061 Darren. No, it's, I look uh, so, why do I look so dark? I need to shake this more. Anyway. Behind the scenes. True Easter. True yeah, you got it, yeah. First, <laughs> first. Uh, what do you think of the kit? I'm a big fan. Yeah. I mean, I, funny enough, I was speaking to Paul Dickoff. The This is going to sound so good flexy. Name, good name drop. Good name drop. Listen, everyone who knows me knows I do love a name drop. <laughs> Literally, after, after the, the Premier League when we won against Chelsea, not last season, season before. I literally had a conversation with him and I said to him, I said, well, thank you for the goal, iconic moment. And I spoke to him today and he said he actually remembered the conversation. So that's really? that my flex of the night. He actually said he remembered that conversation. So it's really cool. So he says that to everyone. Though. I feel like it felt genuine. It did, like he does see, he's one of those people that does seem like he, if, if he didn't, he, he would have been like, like trying to remember it. He's nah. like, no, but I also have seen him about four or five times now, so I think he does. He's like, leave me alone now. It's like, yeah, like, we get, it. like we get it, like, thank we'll you. I remember this, yeah. like, we remember this conversation, like, cool, like, we get it. But we've got a nice picture today, we've got a nice picture of back then as well, yeah. so I've put, I'm gonna put the two side by side and, like, how much you've grown? How much? <laughs> And I'm back at home after a very fun event at the Classy Football Shirt Store in Manchester, in town. It was absolutely ace. I went to the Awaken launch. It was so, so good. And I'm recording this with a shirt in a bag down there before the embargo. This is going out at one minute past eight tomorrow morning. Do you know what, though? I'm out of studio, so I might switch over to my fancy camera right about now. Hello there, other camera. Hello there, other camera. Uh, that was really good fun, lads. It was absolutely awesome. I will do a little kit review as well, but I enjoyed the event. Thank you so much for classic 
United football shirts and Puma and City for inviting me down uh, honestly it was an homage to uh, a legendary kit from 25 years ago Paul Dickoff was there I'm sure there's clips in this video of him talking uh, or I say our very own uh, well YouTube's very own Ellis Platten from Away Days was presenting good to see him bumped into quite a few City people bumped into the City Extra lads I bumped into Kieran Carlin big City fan bumped into uh, Stuntpeg Neve a uh, YouTuber bumped into Big Steve as well bumped into FG uh, Kyle Walker the other Kyle Walker <laughs> uh, bumped into loads of people uh, and it was really nice to chat to more and I even got chatting to a guy from Puma who sort of designed the kit so I'm going to try and chat to him as well on the video because I thought it would be really nice um I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the night. I bumped into as well to uh, Darren and Trista. Trista, you might know him from Football Twitter as well. Uh, it's good to meet those guys uh, and have a good old chat about football uh, and City and the new kit. And the kit itself, look, I got a, a goodie bag here. Do you know what? I'll film this on my other camera as well at the same time. Um, One second. A goodie bag from Classic Football Shirts. Get my fancy camera out and I'll go. I'll do an unboxing as I'm doing this and chatting away to you guys. Um, but I, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was good fun. I'll get my other little camera out now so you can see sort of a close up. Um, but I'll, I'll show you the bag first. I'll get that pull it down for a second. There you go. Um, here's the bag from Classic Football Shirts. I'll go through it. Uh, a little goodie bag. Immediately, I've got a bucket hat on. You know, what, do you want to see me in a bucket hat? No one wants to see that, but you're going to see it anyway. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Never been worn again. It goes in the background somewhere. That can sit on on my chair for now anyway. Uh, it's a beautiful hat, but I am not a bucket hat guy. And me and Nicola um, got a little photo as well, which is in here. Um, look at that. Erling Haaland there in, in the kit. There was like, a, as you see on the video, there's like a bedroom wall print going on. And there was, that was sort of it, the vibe there. I'll show you that on this camera right now. One second. There you go. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Uh, Erling Carlin there in the kit mocked up uh, as if he's Paul Dickoff I really really appreciate that of course the moment uh, what else is in here um, there we go uh, a photo of me and Nicola doing like the sort of red carpet thing um, we had a, a really good time lovely stuff um, beautiful little polar that'll go in our fridge Jack Grealis dressed in it in that kit as well oh, so cool really really cool um, I like these these are going to go on my wall behind me I reckon you've got in the Kevin Orlock sort of pose. Is that meant to be Rodri? <laughs> I can't tell you that's meant to be. Is that Rodri or Ruben? Uh, <laughs> you guys can tell me who that is. Um, I think it's meant to be Rodri, isn't it? And then, of course, you got Phil doing the dick off thing. I absolutely adore that. That's so cool. Phil doing the dick off pose in... Uh, in the classic shirt as well. Which, of course, leads me to this wonderful, wonderful um, unboxing potential of this here. So it comes with this, and look at that. That is an absolute work of art. It really is truly wonderful. I've not opened this yet, by the way. Jenny, I've not opened it, so this is the first time I'm gonna open it. There we go, there's the box, and I'll open it. It slides out. It's just such an iconic look, isn't it? And there you go, inside there is this beautiful thing. That's a work of art. That's going in my background somewhere, that, by the way. It's an absolute work of art. Uh, fair play to Puma, man. They absolutely nailed the feel of this. It's, they've gone for it almost one for one. And there we go. Look at that beauty. Now, of course, you see the, the I've got the one over there behind me of the, the Kappa one for ages ago. But this is it. And they've gone for it almost certainly one for one. In the box, it says... 30th of May, 1999. Beautiful stuff. It's got it on the inside of the collar there as well. I think this is a medium, so I'm not sure it's going to fit me, uh, unfortunately. I'll try and get a large, but look at that. Absolutely glorious shirt. Got the bit on the back, of course, with the name and number. Um, it's just so, so... What's, what's the word looking for? Loyal. Loyal to it. And I think they've done the right thing. They were saying that City... Uh, with the feedback they were getting when they were designing it was like just make it more like it in a good way because it's just like let's lean into it let's lean into the heritage and you know what it's not one for one as such but it's very close and I think that's the best thing they ever do sometimes you don't change a classic this is a beautiful shirt and you understand you know I understand that some people who don't know this kit don't know the heritage of City will look at it and go it's quite garish and it is I'm not going to deny it but I think it's the beauty of it is that it is so unique and it is so openly different and bold that I, um, I think it stands out and you'll see that anywhere in the world you know and I'm going to bring the other one over as well so I'll, I'll wheel over and grab it this one isn't the original this was like a city replica one but where it hasn't got the um, the capper on it and stuff as well but it's got enough in common where you can sort of see the difference between the two I might even prefer this one I mean this obviously this, this one goes down the sleeve with the colour because obviously football's changed now the, the pattern continues down the sleeve uh, this hasn't got it on because you've got so many badges so many successful badges but overall I think this is a beautiful kit and I think 
I can't wait to see the shorts, you know, the shorts on the players. And the, uh, obviously, as I'm recording this, we've not seen it fully out, you know, on a player in the press photos. I've seen it, obviously, on photos and at the event and so on. But I can't wait to see the players on the pitch in it because it always changes. But it's electric, it's vibrant, it's different. And I had a cracking time. And I can't wait to see this on the pitch. I think it's a beautiful kit. I think it's fun. Uh, I think it's lovely. Uh, I might even do a separate review of it very quickly. But for now, though, uh, I want to say thank you to Puma. Uh, I had a wonderful time inviting me down. Me and Nicola had a great time. Uh, and this is going to be a kit that's going to sell loads, rightfully so, because it's an, a wonderful tribute to it, a classic kit. I have no idea why I forgot to put the kit on during this video, but here it is for a little bit of time. Look at that, man. First time ever wearing this kit. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Uh, a wonderful shirt. Uh, <laughs> look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. There you go. That is how I roll with this kit. There you go. That is an instant classic in my opinion. I'm going to wear the hell out of this on the videos this year. You guys better get ready for it. Uh, a beautiful shirt. Um, and, it fits, and it's a medium and it sort of fits quite nicely actually. Uh, I have asked for a large, but this doesn't fit too bad as long as it doesn't shrink. Um, look at that. I am going to be wearing the hell out of this on videos. Get used to it. It's beautiful. Cheers. Thank you, Paul Dickhoff, for scoring that goal. Thank you for making this kit memorable. And thank you for everyone for watching this video. Because that means I get to invite to things like that. And it was really cool. And thank you to chatting to all the guys that did, like Kieran and um, uh, Kieran Carlin and Truista on this video as well. And good to chat to everyone else there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little view of what it's like behind the scenes at a kit launch event. It was great, is the honest answer. Um, it was mint and I got off a kit. Also, we bought Ruben. From classic football shirts. Classic football shirts, the world's biggest collection of football shirts. Thank you. This is not an ad we pay for this. Uh, <laughs> uh, we bought him that. We bought him the home kit. Obviously, it's got, it hasn't got the collar pop because it's a baby version. But look at that. He's got that. Oh, he's got this kit. He's going to look so bloody adorable in it. So there's Ruben's new kit. We have to get him it. We're going to get Ruben on the back and we'll probably get, you know, his age on it as well. It'd be adorable. Look at that. So cute. Anyway, guys, cheers for watching this video. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the kit in the comments below. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I think it's a beautiful kit, and I can't wait to wear it all season. Thank you, Puma. Thank you, Classic Football Shirts. Thank you, City. In a bit, love you all. Bye-bye.